Nick, what are you doing, bro? Uh, these guitars just fell out of the sky. Oh. Uh, Where are they from? I, they're from Taylor. I think it was the magic of Taylor. Dang. Uh, what are we gonna do with them? I don't know, but I think this is a challenge. I think since we have all these Taylor guitars that magically fell on my head, we should probably um, just try stuff. Just, just, just. And record a song with no electric guitars. Dang! And only use these okay. amazing acoustic guitars that fell on my head. Is your head okay? I don't know. Okay. All right, so today we are going to take four acoustic guitars that our good friends at Taylor just graciously sent to us. And we are going to create a track using no electric guitars. The only electric guitar type thing we'll be using is a bass, which doesn't isn't count? doesn't count because it's a bass. Nick, what are the rules for today's jam? The only rules are that we have to use these four guitars and okay. we can use whatever pedals that we want to. Anything in the Anything room. Anything in the room. Anything in the room that we want to. I, I was just thinking like, hey, let's give ourselves a break because we, yeah, yeah. we <laughs> have to use four acoustic guitars. Okay. So I think the first thing we should say is that people have been putting pedals on acoustic guitars for decades. It's not a new thing. People use reverbs and delays and all that kind of stuff. And we want to get into, we want to try to cover the entire gambit from very practical to wild and crazy. So the first pedal that we're going to use is the JHS Colorbox V2. This is a wonderful preamp that gives you a lot of EQ flexibility. Yeah. So for this first guitar track, um, we're going to basically lay down the entire arrangement for this song. And we're gonna just keep it really clean and straightforward, not get too crazy just yet. Cause we want you to be able to hear how nice these guitars sound when they're just plugged straight into a preamp. All right, now that we have that arrangement tracked down, I feel like that sweet, delicate, so good, 324E just need, it needs a buddy. It needs a friend? It needs a friend, and that friend's name is Addison. So Addison, <laughs> tell us how you layered with this track. Well, technically I guess the friend's name is 818E. I plugged that into the Clover. We're gonna pan Nick's to one side. We'll pan my part to the other side. I'm standard tuning capo two. We're in the key of D, so I played in like C shapes. Nice. Just adds like a different texture. Beautiful. It's great. So now it's drums and bass time. We need to build a house of rhythm for this track. These acoustics are layered beautifully. They sound really nice and open and pretty. Are they the foundation? They're are the we foundation. building the house on the foundation? Those acoustic tracks are the foundation and this is like the walls, okay. right? Yep. And we'll build the roof later with other parts, cool, but cool, we're cool. gonna build the walls. I'm gonna gonna go for like a Jeff Tweedy sort of drum beat that's kind of like inspiring me and then asking you're gonna drop um, some sick bass on there <laughs> that's did right. you use the did you use the crook no I didn't use the crook. Didn't use I the didn't crook. I've actually I'm forgot the, that's amazing I wanted to can it's I go back? kind of a miracle <laughs> well I'll use it I'll during mixing I'll <laughs> I'll run it through the crook yeah. I don't you actually won't know if yeah, I do know. that or not so is the crook on it maybe, maybe it is not maybe maybe not oh you're using the color box though. I am using the color box yeah. for sure yeah yeah good song needs a good intro, yep. right? And so for our intro, it's kind of like spacious and I'm thinking I need to do some swelly kind of guitar thing, right? Yeah. So I'm gonna use the Land Vognen Von Gun.
on set. Mm. This is like the coolest I'm so excited about this pedal. We used this on a live recently. It's basically like an auto swell. Look how just amazing this looks. This basically changes the amount of time it takes to swell in. And then I ran this into the Minim by Old Blood Noises. It's also Old Blood Noise. It is. But you make Old Blood Noises with Old Blood Noise pedals. Honestly, I, I think I just plugged it in. The sign of a good pedal is if you can just plug it in mm. and you're just like, this is amazing. You have always said that. I have always said that. And for my DI, I'm also going to use the Clover once again, and I'm going to be using the 12EN, N stands for nylon. This is actually one of my favorite guitars that they gave us. Agreed. It's amazing. Yeah. I, I, like I want one for my own house. <laughs> feel like this intro still needs some more. So Addison, the ball's in your court. Okay, please, please elevate it even more. I've never played this pedal. It's the Caroline Guitar Company Kilobyte. Oh. And I am sorry I've never played this. It's Not so for good. any reason, I just never played it. Yeah. But Driller said you should check out this pedal. Yeah. I also use the Flint as well, which I absolutely love. I believe I use the 80s uh, mode, the 80s reverb mode. And then the Clover was the DI portion here, but this is kind of really what made the intro part. Yes. So I kind of did some little twiddly, 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 twiddly. What was cool about it, and you'll hear, is this oscillation part. If you hold down this right foot switch here, it oscillates. Yeah, I was like, and Exactly. <laughs> and then to further aid that part, there's a whammy on here. And I think for this intro part, I just left it like an octave up. So it's like these real kind of shimmery mm -hmm. uh, little Tweedledees, Tweedledees. That, that we did. Yep. I used the nylon string guitar as well. And what was so cool about this is that I'm convinced that no electric guitar could have done this sound no. as well as the nylon. So Taylor, no. way to go. It's amazing. It's amazing. I loved this setup that Addison had so much that I was like, we need to do some more of this, like towards the end of the song. So Addison, this part at the end that we're gonna talk about was very whammy heavy. Yeah, same same pedals, still had the kilobyte, still had the flint on, mm -hmm. still running through the clover. This time we were turning some knobs. Uh, I think you you landed on the fifth up. Yeah. So I'm starting with the, the heel down mm -hmm. and then nice. ramping up to the fifth, nice. right? Yeah. Of whatever the chord is. Yeah. And then I'm changing chords a little bit. So I created this sort of melodic part that is. Yeah, really it kind of cool. sound like, like if a robot was mm. playing pedal steel. What a compliment. I really liked it. I've always wanted to be compared to a robot playing pedal steel. Today's that day. That's a weird dream that you have. Well, it's my dream, man. <laughs> I just need to do something aggressive. You know what I mean? Like everything's so clean you mad, and nice. Bro? I'm, I'm, it's like I'm not mad. Yeah. It's just like I've. It's just like there's tension. Okay. You know, and so I want to just Get like. It out. I just want to like punch the sky. So in order to do that, I'm gonna use the sensation fuzz drive. So this is like dr the driving force. This is in the driver's seat. I put a gate on it because there's very noisy, and so I just wanted to be able to add a little bit of control so that things weren't feeding back too much. Mm -hmm. I've also got the OC5 giving me a little bit of octave up and a little bit of octave down. Then I've also got the kilobyte on kind of like a faster, a little bit of a faster short delay. And I also have reverb and tremolo on this. So I basically on. just turned everything on. Yeah. And then at the end, color box all the way for the DI, just fantastic. And I'm also gonna be using the AD27E model on this part. It's a good one. Just. We 
have our structure. We yeah. have a nice little property going on. Man, you just, you need a roof on this thing. Yeah, you do. So tell me about the roof that you put on this house. The roof I put on this was a solo using all the pedals that I used from the last melodic bit. So I'm gonna be using the same guitar, same pedals, and just do like, I'm just gonna try to channel Nels Klein. Like yeah. if Nels Klein did a solo on an acoustic guitar. This is going really good. Yes. We're almost done, but it feels like it's missing just a little something. A little so something. maybe you could add another part? Yeah. What do you think? I think that's great. I'm gonna use the Kilobyte color box, and I just wanna add like a little bit of movement underneath this sort of chorus double time part. And then I'm also going to add sort of a counter melody and some harmonies using all of these pedals. <laughs> song, I think we gotta pick our band name. I'm ready for it. All right, we got My Single Romance, which sort of <laughs> sounds like a playoff of My Chemical Romance. Meaty Tortoises of Cape Town. Cape Town Ooh, is a- No Night? I like that. No Night. Okay. But it's like night like a sword swords. What? The wild skipping tortoises. <laughs> Rubbish Cape Town tortoises, that's a Huddle mystery. of Night. Oh, okay. Yeah, Single Kid Lisa. Interesting. Single Kid Lisa. That's pretty good. Single Kid Lisa. Single, single kid, kid Lisa. Lisa. We are Single Kid Lisa. Now we need a single name. Ooh, I but, got an idea. Okay. What's ne your? Never You Mind. Never You Mind. Is that too sincere? Never You Mind. I like that. Single Kid Lisa with our hit single, Never, Never You Mind. mind.
That was awesome. So good. I am so excited about getting to use all these awesome Taylor guitars yeah. and create a song. We didn't use one electric guitar except for the bass, and that doesn't count because it's not considered an electric guitar technically. That's right. It's an electric bass. Thank you to our dear friends at Taylor for setting us up yeah. with just really amazing guitars. This was Again, fun. that nylon guitar, yeah. the 12E N. So good. We're gonna go to record time now. On today's record time, we've got two records because there's two of us. Addison, go first. Great. I picked uh, Bon Iver's 22 A Million. This is a great album cover. The whole entire vinyl, I've never it's beautiful. seen this. There's like amazing artwork all over it. I feel like this record, is like a PhD college level course in experimentation, which wow. is kind of what we were going wow. for yeah, with yeah, all yeah, these yeah. pedals on acoustic. But yeah. man, I mean, all his music in general is, but I remember when this came out and I was mind blown. So, so good. Um, my favorite track's probably Over Soon, which is the first song on the record. I love it, go check it out. If, um, if you haven't heard his music or if you haven't heard this record, go check it out. It's awesome, it's fantastic. Sweet. Everything about it's so good. And I you? picked Big Thief's newest album, Dragon New Warm Mountain, I Believe in You. Wow. I freaking love <laughs> Big Thief is so cool. Uh, I picked this because this whole album, again, has a lot of experimentation, just like our friend Bon Iver. Um, and basically, like, you've got everything from super folky stuff to, like, really weird modulated stuff. Um, but one of the things I love about her guitar playing is she uses a lot of open tunings nice. and a lot of okay. weird, strange tunings, and I just really love it. Every song on here is freaking fantastic everything from sparrow red moon just it's really amazing there's like 20 something songs Dang. on here too so you need to like go like put some headphones in do some yard work and listen to this whole album yeah. it's amazing that's it let's go hit the like button if you like this episode only if you liked it subscribe and hit the bell icon to be notified every single time we post a new episode and i think that's it Band live? Do you want to jam with us? Yeah. Come on. Acoustic were you listening jams? to this track and you were yes. just like, I want to jam with this track? I you, was. You can on Band Lab. That's right. That's where you can do such things. Yeah. So go check out these stems on Band Lab. You're yeah. just going to have a blast, man. Let's go. So cool. And, and on that note. <laughs> Now they're sad. <laughs> okay, I think I think they're gone. You hear the rain? Do you hear the rain coming down? Do you hear the rain outside? It's falling on the ground. It's falling on my hair. It's making my clothes wet. That's what happens when you rain gets on stuff Cause it's water, it's water from the sky Ooh, water from the sky That's what rain is, it's water from the sky Ooh, it's water from the sky That's what rain is, it's water from the sky